So in this video, we are going to find the area of a circle. And the formula that we could use to find the area of a circle is the area is equal to pi r squared. And the r stands for the radius, so you could say that the area is equal to pi times the radius squared. And most of the time, you are given the radius, so you can just plug it into the formula to find your area. However, in this particular example, we are given the diameter of the circle. And the good news is that if you're given the diameter, finding the radius is really easy. The length of the diameter is just the length of one side of the circle to the other side of the circle. And the length of the radius is equal to the middle of the circle to one side of the circle. So in other words, the radius is exactly one half of the diameter. And I'll write this down for you below, just so you can remember it. So if the diameter is equal to 10 feet, then the radius is equal to one half of 10, which is just five. And once we have our radius, we can plug it into our formula. Once again, our formula is the area is equal to pi r squared. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my radius, which is five, in for r. So now notice, instead of writing r squared, I wrote five squared, since our radius is equal to five. So now I'm just going to simplify this a little bit. 5 squared is equal to 5 times 5, or 25. So instead of writing 5 squared, I'm going to put a 25. And it's always standard, whenever you're multiplying a number by pi, that you put the number in front of the pi instead of after. So instead of pi times 25, I'm just going to write 25 pi. Putting the number in front of pi is not something that you have to do. It's just something that I like to do. So here we have the exact area of the circle, which is 25 pi. But sometimes you need an approximate area, or you need to write the area as a decimal. So in order to do this, you need to approximate the value for pi and rewrite it as a decimal. And the approximate value for pi is equal to 3.14. So as you can see, instead of writing 25 times pi, I wrote 25 times 3.14. And if you plug 25 times 3.14 into your calculator, you get a value of 78.5. And we can't forget to include our units. Area is always given in square units, such as square feet or square yards or square meters. Since this particular problem, the diameter was given to us in feet, then our units need to be square feet. So the approximate area of this circle is equal to 78.5 square feet.